Hi, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk about mortgage section. We talk about final expense, really all things related to financial services. And we talk about the IMOs. We compare the IMOs. We talk about the comp plans. And we talk about those pesky recruiters. You know the ones I'm talking about. The ones that recruit, recruit, recruit. Don't get those three things out of order. And they get you recruiting before you even have got your own license to sell. Okay, big problem with that because the only reason why they want you to recruit before your license is so that when you quit, they get your people and you got nothing. So you can't override any production until you're licensed. Here's the thing, I'm not against building your own agency. I think if you like people and you want to participate in that type of passive income stream, you should do it. But you should do it when the time is right, when you're leading from the front by putting your own name on applications. You can't tell people to go out there and do something you're not doing yourself. And we try to give you guides, step-by-step -step things to ask that recruiter and compare before you sign that dotted line. So if you're brand new here, welcome to this channel. If you like what you see, mash that subscribe button down there. Hit that bell, okay? And then give me that big thumbs up. YouTube is telling us that the thumbs up is everything. So I appreciate it. And look, we're putting new video content out every single week right here, specifically related to mortgage session and final expense. I get a lot of questions when people don't understand how we get paid as mortgage session and final expense agents. So it occurred to me after taking hundreds of phone calls and there being a real big misunderstanding, people that are looking at in the industry, how is it that we get paid? So today's topic is just that. How do mortgage session final expense agents get paid? It's really three areas that we get paid. I'm um, gonna we'll keep them short and shareable so you can send them out to other agents that you know in the business or people that are looking in the business. I'm gonna cover each one in a separate video over the next couple of weeks. So this is gonna be video number one, so let's get started. Here are the three ways. So here are the three ways. Number one, we get paid advanced commissions on our personal sales. We also get paid residual income on our personal sales. And then we have a third option, which is passive income on our agency if we choose to build our own agency. And we're also gonna discuss what your liability is should you choose this path. So today we need to start at the foundation where all of us start, day one. We earn a commission on our personal sales. And I have my whiteboard, and I wanna thank Angela for drawing this out for me as an example for you and I to go over today, because my handwriting is terrible. So the first thing is there is a big, sometimes intentionally misleading idea out there that the contract rate means commission rate, and that's not always the case. So we wanna cover that today. Contract rate is a baseline used in the industry, mostly with IMOs, as more of a kind of a guideline. However, that contract rate usually only applies to the IMO's core products. And in this niche of mortgage station and final expense, that is non-med. Be clear, we are in the non-med business, non-medical business. Doesn't mean we don't have available to us fully underwritten products where you get stuck in the arm with a needle, but that's not the business that we're in. We're in the non-med business, especially if you're working any kind of a lead generation program that you're, that's given to you by these IMOs. They're all directed at the no exam. So that's your core business. And if you're selling those core products, generally speaking, your contract rate will equal your commission rate. So again, to be clear, if you're selling your IMO's core carriers, non-medical products, and you're at 60, 70, 80, or 90%, whatever it is, contract rate, your commission rate, generally speaking, you can expect to be paid the same percentage as the commission. So let's take a look at the whiteboard. Okay, so we're gonna make an assumption here that we're gonna go on the 90% contract rate, which is right here, okay? Annual premium based on a 90% commission rate. The average premium in the industry is 83 bucks a month. Times that by 12, you get $1,000 of what we call APV. Okay, You want to understand that term because everybody uses it. APV stands for annual premium volume. And you get that by multiplying the monthly rate by 12, you get $1,000 APV. You times that by your commission rate, not your contract rate, unless the two are the same you get a $900 commission. All carriers pay you 0.75% of your full commission 
up front, or what we call advanced commission, okay? So that's gonna be $675 average paycheck per policy in mortgage section in this industry. Insurance carriers advance 75% up front, 25% paid in months 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so what that means is, is of your, if your commission is $900, they're gonna pay you 0.75, okay? That's basically not the first nine months. Why did I use that figure? Because in the industry, historically, the average policy stays on the books for nine months. So these insurance companies feel rather comfortable giving you an advanced commission for nine months, knowing that, for the most part, that policy will stay in the books at a minimum of nine months. But again, it's an advance. So if it's still in the books in months 10, 11, and 12, you'll get paid out the remaining 25%. The difference between the 675 and the 900 is about $125. And that difference is about $225 divided over the three months, months 10th, 11th, and 12th. And this is what's gonna be deposited in your bank account the very day that policy is issued. Generally speaking, in non-med, you're looking at three to five days. Could be a little bit longer, could be a little bit less depending on the carrier. Okay, so that's kind of how this works out. Again, going over $83 a month premium, times it by 12, gives you $1,000 APV, okay? Annual premium based on 90%, your commission is $900, okay? You're gonna get nine months of that up front. They're gonna hold back 25%, which is basically a reserve, and then you, they'll pay that out months 10th, 11th, 12th, that policy is still in the books, and you're gonna get deposited in your bank account the next day 675. So depending on what your commission rate is for your particular IMO, you can just input it right here, knowing this is going to be the average policy you sell, and you can figure out what your commission is, and then you can scale your income depending on how many of those kind of policies you need to sell in the course of a week to make 2000 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. So if you're looking to make about 2,500 to $3,000 a week and you're somewhere in the neighborhood of a 60 to 70% contract, count on selling five policies per week and that'll be roughly that amount. Okay, so let's talk about something else. Now again, if you're selling fully underwritten policies, as I like to say, selling policies where they will get stuck in the arm with a needle, there are carrier costs associated with sending a nurse out to that home, right? And you will be paid less, sometimes as low as 20 to 30%. In this industry, it's often called a haircut. And as you can see over my career, I've got plenty of haircuts. <laughs> so it's a good thing to ask for the commission structure for all the carriers your IMO has before you decide to join them. They will provide it or not. And if they don't provide it, my advice would be move on to a more transparent recruiter or IMO. Now let's cover the elephant in the room, chargebacks, okay? This should be a separate video in and of itself. Remember, there's a reason they call the commissions you get advanced. To be clear, advanced means unearned. You have not earned your commission until nine months have passed since you were paid the nine months advanced commission. So you're gonna get paid 75%. We already said that's about nine months. Once you get to month number 10, if that policy is still on books, you now have earned your entire nine months in advance. The only earned commission that is yours to keep is whatever your commission rate is times the one month premium the carrier drafted when they put that policy in place. So for example, if the consumer is paying $83 a month, you would take that times 90%, times it by 70%. So let's figure it out. Okay, so let's just say you, you sold a policy, $83, times it by your 90%, your commission rate, times that by 75%, your commission would be roughly $56 earned. Now you're not getting $56 in your bank account, you're getting $675. So everything above $56 is considered unearned and it is chargebackable in the event that the customer dies, they can't draft the account, it's non-sufficient funds, or it's canceled, you're at risk for that first nine months. Now if you're doing your job correctly, it's not a big deal. You have to make sure you develop a relationship with the consumer. So before we move on, let's be clear, you are working off a debt. And if that policy cancels before the nine months, you will be required to pay the carrier back the remaining unearned commissions you deposited in your bank account. So if they cancel, die, or the bank draft comes back insufficient funds in six months, let's just say for example, if they cancel 
die or the bank draft comes back insufficient funds and they're six months in, you're going to owe three months times the monthly premium. So like in the example, it's $83 a month the consumer pays, you're gonna owe the carrier $249. Now it's not a bad thing. You've got some options here. You can call the carrier, you can give them your credit card to repay them. You can submit new business. So if you're currently an active agent and you're putting in business all the time, this is probably not a big deal. Or many of them will allow you to work out some sort of payment arrangements so you can put in new business. But this comes up a lot, so I want you to understand. If you do not pay them back, they and your IMO will terminate your contract and file what we call a vector, which is a bad debt notice on your license. And as soon as the other carriers see that, they will also terminate you, which effectively bars you from working in the industry until you pay the debt that you owe. And it can also go on your credit and be placed on the credit bureaus as a bad debt. So it's good to understand this. And if you do not want to be in this position, it's simple. Just ask your IMO to put you on an as-earned basis. That way, you will only be paid what you've earned and it cannot be taken back from you in the event that the policy is canceled or lapsed or insufficient funds on a bank draft. But remember, you're only going to get paid your earned commission, which would be instead of six seventy-five. dollars as long as you can live off that, that's fine. But most people can't. That's why they give you the advanced commissions. They trust you with that commission for nine months period of time that you did a good job. Again, like I said, if you're an active agent, you're putting a lot of business in, this is a normal occurrence. It doesn't happen very often, right? You might have this happen two or three times a year. It's not a big deal. It's all about like, know, and trust and build a relationship with your client. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. Please share it with your friends and other agents, and that would help me a ton. And for that, I give you a thumbs up. So if you like what you saw today and you want more of this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. Just push the subscribe button below, hit that bell, you get the instant notifications of the next video that comes out. And again, I appreciate the thumbs up. The next video you're gonna wanna watch is how to build a residual income source. Now listen, if you're brand new to this industry or you're lacking training, don't forget to sign up for our Agent Success Academy. It's below here, special videos and handouts. There's no charge and it's free. <laughs> Gotta love free. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.